kind of going to try to offer you a little bit of a crash course in GoCrop and then kind of look at some of the reports that are generated. So um, I'm going to sign in to my account here by clicking the sign in button. So when you log into GoCrop, there's a screen here that will show you a number of farms that you have added as part of your license. And so with this account, we only have one farm as a part of it. There's a potential, that, especially if there's a consultant, that you might be working with multiple farms and they would be listed here. So when I click work with this farm, example farm, and this is the GoCrop home screen. So it has some pretty basic information here. Um, the address, um, general map of where the area is located, and then um, the license information as well. Then going, I'm going to go through each one of these tabs, and each one of these tabs has sub-tabs as well. So we're in the home dashboard, I'm going to go to the home reporting section. This area right here is where users in Vermont um, will enter Vermont-specific nutrient management plan information. And so this is a pretty long form, and it just has basic management details um, overall for tillage or seeding or manure generation um, as well. And then GoCrop also has this really wonderful feature where multiple years' worth of data can be stored and accessed, not only the plans but the records as well. And there are two ways to get at that, either here under years or under the dashboard. There will be a um, number of years listed here. Um, GoCrop also has this added feature where you can set user permission. So, for example, as an admin or owner, you might have access to all information and can um, change um, different farm details on the web and the mobile, but perhaps there are people you employ that you would prefer only have access to perhaps entering records. And so that's where this information is um, set. Under farms, um, there are two tabs, one where a user can enter nutrient sources or they can enter equipment. Right now, we have um, nutrient sources as manure, fertilizer, or freshwater sources. Um, but this can be tailored to meet state needs. Um, for example, perhaps compost could be added as a nutrient source. So when a user creates a source or adds a source, the form looks like this. Pretty simple, but there are these really great um, drop-down menus that where the user can choose where their manure is coming from, and then also their manure type and the estimated amount that will be generated in that particular manure source. Once that's created, then the user can enter their analysis. Um, and again, these, are, these will all be used when generating the nutrient management balance for a particular field. Also, the equipment. Um, right now, our equipment pieces are either a spreader or irrigation equipment. And here the user chooses what spreaders they will use. And these sizes will help the farmer determine later in the nutrient balance or as they're planning how many loads they might need to use to meet the amount they'd like to spread. So now I'm going to move over to this third tab, the fields tab. And here's where the bulk of the information gets entered. If you're a new user, you're creating, um, expanding your farm, you'll hit a new field and create that. Otherwise, we'll go into an old field and kind of look at some of the information present there. So this is the field information tab, general details, acres, if it's owned or leased is labeled there. Um, soils information, which is generated from the soil series information automatically. And we also have this great map feature where the user can um, outline their field, so they have that as a handy reference point. And this is also the section where soil tests are um, input, and then Vermont-specific nutrient management plan details. And again, these are all customizable if a state is interested in um, taking on this program to meet the specific state and um, regulation needs. In the rotations tab here, the user is able to enter their rotations um, and enter their average soil loss for their entire rotation, and also rotations by year, and the user can click through and determine. The crop names are generated from some NRCS Russell 2 um, samples and are also in a drop-down menu.
The crop information here, well, I'll go through this as well. Um, here, the user gets to determine um, what kind of crop it is from a drop down menu again, and put in surface cover, legging percent, and the purpose of that crop as well. And the user can, um, for the purpose, choose either harvest, grazing, or cover crop. And once one of these are chosen, an additional field pops up below. So I've chosen grazing, and then the grazing piece enter, um, generates below. It's grazed more than once, they anticipate yield per graze. And the user gets to generate or choose what the yield unit is. And this is also very similar for um, amount predicted to be harvested. This is also the section where recommendations get entered. These recommendations are um, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are default. So there is a drop down menu here, but because these are typically what we use in nutrient management plans in Vermont, they're automatically there to facilitate efficient and easy use of go crop. Um, one thing that I have not shown here that if a field manages multiple crops, that is also able to put in here, and they'll show up in um, separate tabs in the sides. So you can easily go through and see what your recommendations are or any other details specific to that crop. So all of this gets used and to generate the nutrient management plan. Um, and so here's our nutrient um, balance of plan nutrients, pardon me. And so this table shows at the top the recommendations that we've gotten from the soil test, um, any past year's applications or nutrient credits from crop or manure, any planned manure, any planned fertilizer, and potential manure from grazing. This is all summed into plan to total, which we have here is 11.6. And as we see here, recommended from our soil test is zero. So this actually has an excess of 11.6 nitrogen um, pounds per acre. We have two different um, balances here in our nutrient balance table, either the balance against the recommended or the balance um, against the predicted crop removal. And again, these are items that we have in here to meet our state regulations and recommendations. So as we um, enter our different plans here or look at our um, credits, our nutrient indices can change, either the nitrogen leaching index or the soil phosphorus value or our P index rating. One of the items that we can enter here, manure from grazing, um, is generated from these um, a lookup table that again is specific to Vermont and can also be customizable depending on various state or um, regulation needs. So there's a drop down menu here, choosing the type of manure, number of animals, average weight, the days in the field, and that again generates the amount of manure generated from um, grazing animals from a lookup table specific to Vermont. So I want to take note here that um, our nutrient values for the VTP index is one, and I'm going to add a plan manure application. And we're going to see how that changes our indices. And this is a really quick way, as Heather had shown before, that um, the pen and paper method could be quite tedious. And so here we'll enter one, and it's pretty quick to see the change in not only the balance, but how it might affect the nutrient indices. So here we've had that manure application planned entered here. And now our uh, VTP index value is 10, but our interpretation still keeps it as low. Another um, great feature in Go Crop is that we can say that we're going to plan an application in late fall, but that doesn't apply to this year's crop. So this planned application will show up in our next year's plan when we roll over to the next year. So you're still saving that plan information even though you're saying I'm going to um, planning on applying now. You can also enter plan fertilizer applications and the form for that is very similar to the planned manure applications. So all of this um, creates our nutrient management planning which will then get generated into reports that the producer can print out. Um, but also, as Heather indicated, that the record keeping portion is also very important for a nutrient management plan. And GoCrop can do that in two ways. It can do it on the web and it can also do it on a mobile application. So to store records on the web, um, we can click on the records button here. And now again, we have our balance of applied nutrients and we can see that 
we haven't applied anything, so it's not stored there, but our past year's credits are still there. So that hasn't changed, it's already happened. Um, so we're gonna go down here and we can see our activities list. We only have a soil test, and now we're gonna add a manure um, application. Um, this crop field is um, determined from what you've already chosen previously in your crops. I'm gonna change my record date to June. Um, this manure pit was something the user already generated previously. And you can see that GoCrop is also good. It'll say, hey, we haven't gotten all the information here to actually generate the record correctly. And it'll tell you where it is. And I forgot to put the soil moisture in. Okay, so we've entered our manure application and now it has this pop-up saying, we also need to enter weather information as required by the 590 standard. So I'm gonna add a weather um, for the day of application. And these are um, defaults that we've generated for our use here in Vermont, but we could easily change them to meet other needs. One of the nice things about the weather record is you can imagine that producers will spread in multiple fields on one day and the weather may not be different between those fields. And so the user is able to pick and select the number of fields they'd like that weather record to apply to. So they don't need to generate a number of records the same weather record to apply to different fields. It can all be done in one fell swoop here. So now we're gonna go back to our records for this field and we can see that that manure application is entered here in the nutrient balance and that our weather records and our manure application records are also put under the activity bar here. I'm gonna switch over to a PowerPoint now to show you some of the mobile record keeping um, ways that we use here. So with the mobile piece is um, for iProducts only, but we do have um, options for the iPhone and also the iPad. So once the user logs into their iPhone or iPad, they're able to choose um, their way to see fields either by clicking on a field in a map that they've already defined where the field is, or going to the field list and choosing which field they'd like to work with. Um, after that, they can say, they can determine if they want to use their record for all the crops on that field or one specific crop. After choosing that crop or all crops, then they can click on an add record button. With that add record button, a series of records um, from a drop down menu is generated. And these records were created to meet our needs here in Vermont, but we could also easily add more forms to meet other regulations and other state needs. And this is what that manure form looks like in the iPhone without any input yet. But this input is to some degree also user generated from default. So the manure source would again be identified um, previously by information that was put into the web app. So this information is filled out here. Um, the user gets to choose if they want to determine the rate to record the application by load or by rate or by total. And then after the record's made and submitted, then it is cataloged here in recent activity of the field that we have chosen to go into. So we've created our nutrient management plan, we've entered our records, and now we want to get that information out. GoCrop has created a, we have nine different farm reports and we also have our field plan reports and field record reports. These farm reports were generated to meet our Vermont nutrient management planning needs. And again, these are customizable and we're updating them to make them more user friendly or to meet our new regulations as is necessary. So one of our more complicated um, whole farm reports is this Vermont phosphorus index. I'm not gonna go to all the details here, but this is one way that we display the information required to meet our state regulations. We also have our reports, our field plan, and here we have our general oral information about our plan, the field name, the track and field number, the acres, other detailed information. But then we have this long table that breaks the nutrients into nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, lime, and any other user-generated 
nutrients that the farmer wants to keep track of. And you do this table to come up with the totals that are either needed to meet the crop requirement or recommendation or any potential excess. So in this field, we don't have any credit from past year's crops, but we do have some from past year's manure applications. And then we also have an application in the summer of 2,000 pound, or sorry, 2,000 gallons per acre. And because our um, recommendation is zero for this particular field, we actually are in excess according to this of applications. This is our um, field records report. Um, record log and here you can see that where we added that manure application and the weather record associated with that particular on that day and also the day before and day after below. Here's also the report where we would see any other fertilizer, seeding, harvest, pest scouting, or pest control records. So if you're really interested in GoCrop and you want to create your own account, um, you have a free 30-day trial at your disposal and to access that um, you go to www.gocrop.com, click sign up, and create a profile, which is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. From there, you add a farm, and then you add your farm profile, information specific to your farm. And then you add a license, and to add a license, you choose to try up to five free users. If you pick any one of these other licenses, if you'd like to buy GoCrop outright, you'll have to go to billing and fill out the information there before you choose one of these. Um, right now, GoCrop offers um, a crops version of nutrient management balance, or nutrient balance planning, but we also offer it with the Vermont Nutrient Management balance piece as well. So you can, it's a standalone product. And as Heather indicated previously, we're looking forward to offering a whole suite of different pieces from greenhouse gas emissions to farm nutrient balancing to grazing options. And all of those will be um, available here as add-ons.